Welcome to this video in which I am going to present a paper and detail examples of games for learning Erasmus+. Plus. Let's start with a few information related to the investigation. Through this research work, we are looking for good educational practices within a group of European projects, consider good practices, success stories, and linked with e-learning and information and communications technologies, ICT. This presentation focuses on some projects of object of this research that have used games for the teaching and learning process with efficacy. They could inspire the design of new educational projects in the future. Regarding the methodology for the research, it's, it follows the guidelines specified in systematic reviews of research projects, which implies four stages, study definition, screen definition, project selection and analysis, and presently we are in the analysis phase. Result of this process, five projects have been selected for this article. Let's go to, the, or to review the projects chosen. Two projects for school education involving games participated in all the stages of the research work mentioned. One of them is educational in mathematics in game-based immersive context. This game has an innovative teaching approach that offers teachers help to improve their students' math skills. It also promotes inclusion. The other one is fun and curriculum-oriented exercises for information touch, which challenge was to involve more students who are good at science, computer science, or mathematics, who tend to be quieter and more melancholic with difficulties in communicating with in foreign language. But uh, they could contribute a lot with their ICT knowledge and their enthusiasm for programming and mobile phones. It was a way of motivating them by using their knowledge in the context of the curriculum, hence it promotes also inclusion. Regarding vocational education and training field, two projects have been involved in the research, worked with games. The first is fit for e-commerce, which um, the main goal is that students and teachers improve their leader skills in the field of e-commerce and develop an entrepreneurial spirit. And the second one is to have in capacities for caregivers to choose a valid lifting technique at daily practices focus on improving the training of caregivers on the use of the correct lifting techniques, which could prevent injuries related to the spine through an electronic ebook based on best practice and efficiency, resources for teaching and training of caregivers, and a mobile app. In the field of youth, we could highlight the project The Suitcase, The Map and The Voyage of a Youth Worker aimed to create online tools that could facilitate young people's professional life planning, including non-formal learning, in addition to a basic knowledge at European level for the future youth worker. The following slide presents the main conclusions when analyzing the projects presented here. The main conclusions when reviewing these projects have been that the, uh, the use of gains through technology as a tool to motivate students in learning has been effective. The solution should meet the real needs for a specific educational field and that are close to the social reality that students live, and the design of technological solutions must cover an educational field in which they detected a clear need and have proven to be efficient and successful in the proposed of objectives. Other aspect that is crucial is that it uh, is available to all users in order to guarantee the transferability and impact on other institutions and users and makes their games sustainable and useful over time. This goal, it is important to create um, another goal is, to, is it is important to create an infrastructure in their own institutions that allow the progress to continue to be updated and include them into educational practices and study plans with the logical support 
of educational administration. Thank you very much for your interest and I'll be very happy to reply any questions that you may have regarding the paper. Here you can find my contact details.